And a city councilman from Bellevue, Washington, is the latest victim of a bear attack in the summer that has sent has had many uh, more encounters, it seems, than usual. We're going to speak exclusively to the victim's wife in just a moment. But first, here's their story. John Chelmanak was taking his dogs for a walk at his vacation home near Lake Wenatchee in Washington when he was caught in a life and death struggle with a bear. There's a bear up here. Please help me. After hearing her husband shouting for help while being mauled, Chelmanak's wife, Lynn, made this call to 911. Okay. Honey, just a minute. During the encounter, believed to be the first in the region in 20 years, Chelmanak suffered puncture wounds to his head and face. Oh, God, his head is all bad. Okay, where's the bear now? I think it's gone. John, John, wait. Well, where is the bear now? The bear was found and killed several hours after the attack by Washington Fish and Wildlife agents. Chelmanak was airlifted to a Seattle hospital where he is in stable condition and recovering from his injuries. Oh, here they come. Oh, good. Oh, God. I'm so scared. And joining us now exclusively from Seattle is John Chelmanak's wife, Lynn Semler. Lynn, good morning. Good morning. How's your husband doing? Uh, he's, he's in stable condition. I checked with them this morning and all good. Oh, good. He was on a vet, uh, he was intubated, what, yesterday? So they took the tube out. There's, his, his prognosis is quite good now, right? Yes, he's, he continues to be in stable condition. All right. So It's, a, it's amazing. <laughs> I want to go back and just start at square one. So you've got this little place up at Lake Wenatchee. Looks like one of the most beautiful places in the world. Very routine. He takes the dogs out, which is something he would normally do. And, and what do you, when do you realize something has gone terribly wrong? He'd been out for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I heard a cry. It's actually a yell um, from the house. I heard somebody, call, it sounded like somebody was calling a dog. And I went out on the deck, um, determined it was John. And um, I heard him say 911. My daughter um, picked up the cell. I told her to pick up the cell, called 911. Mm -hmm. And she handed it to me. We went, I went outside, I opened the garage door. And there I saw an, an animal, um, black. I thought it was a large dog. I took a couple strides and determined, nope, that was a bear. Um, and John was yelling, bear, bear. I, I made that you know, quick discovery. Right. And yelled at my daughter to stay inside. And, and what kind of shape was your my... husband in when you saw him? Um, you know, I, I could see that he was hurt. He was laying on the driveway, mm. um, rolling a little bit. I told him to not move, right. keep breathing, try to stay calm. Um, and was there anything you could do to sort of, did you try to scare the bear or fend him off in some way? No, no. In fact, when I opened the door at the top of the driveway at the house, uh, the, dare, the bear ran off. Mm. And I must have startled it. When I was down at the bottom of the road, I had my flashlight and was looking for the bear. And I did spot it. It was about 120 feet away. Wow. And um, it was pacing yeah. back and forth. Now, had anything even close to this ever happened before? No. <laughs> no. Never. Wow. So you call 911. How long was it then by the time uh, r rescue folks got up there? It seemed to take forever, um, but it wasn't, I'm sure. I would say maybe 10 minutes. Um, I'm not quite sure on that. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, though, um, your husband gets in the hospital. We understand he's doing all, all, all right, and his prog prognosis is, is good. In retrospect, did you feel like, did we do something wrong? Or did, did the wildlife people say why they thought the, the bear uh, acted in the manner that it did? No, and, you know, I, I did kind of double cross myself uh, thinking, you know, what, what could I have done differently? And honestly, I think it was just so important for me to stay down there with John, mm. um, monitor the bear. And, you know, I was, I was scared, I'll bet. Um, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> that, that may have been enough to keep the bear away. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Lynn, we thank you very much for getting up early and uh, sharing your story with us. And we're glad, glad to hear welcome. that your husband's going to be fine. That's, uh, that's good thank news. Thank you. Do appreciate it. Thanks.